Who's this one so here? Weird. This is the office. You, you think I care? Yeah, it's my office. You can't play soccer in here. What, I is mean, there a game tonight? Yeah, we have our boys' home opener tonight, 7.30. Boys' soccer home opener. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why. Wait, you... why are you in here, though? You dissed me on the news yesterday. You, you're darn right I dissed you. It was rude. Because you messed up I the news. I cried news. all night. I cried. I don't, cried. I don't want to hurt hear my your feelings. Tears. Hurt my feelings. But live from Trinity, it's Tuesday morning. It's Mustang News Live with Amber Lewis. Christian Maylock, Tyler Frick, Mike Izzo, Corey Stradakis, Danny Ramsey, Paul Coppola, Tyler Farrell, Featured, Patrick Davey Bean, Musical Guest, The Mitchell High School Jazz Band, Ladies and Gentlemen, Amber Lewis. Good morning, Mustangs and Sports Today. We hear about our girls' volleyball team and what it will take for them to go to the regional championship. In weather, Bailey enhances our knowledge with the weather fact of the day. And in random news, we hear about an alligator who is determined to catch his flight. Now let's go check out Lunch Lady Delights with Manoli. Hoagies and grinders, hoagies and grinders, navy beans, navy beans, meatloaf sandwich. Today for your Lunch Lady Delights, there are vegetable garden salad, chef salad, or regular or spicy chicken sandwich. That's all for lunches today. Now let's go see what Miss Bell is up to in the admin corner. Good morning, Mustangs. I'm Paul Coppola here in the Sports Cage. Tonight will be a very busy night for our Mitchell Sports. Our varsity girls soccer team will be heading to Hudson tonight to take on the Cobras. The ladies look to improve their record to 3-0 on the season. At 7.30, our varsity boys soccer team is hosting Berkeley Prep High School here at Mitchell. Good luck to both our soccer teams tonight and hopefully they can each come away with a win. Now on to the big game of the night. Our volleyball team will be putting their 19 game win streak on the line as they face off against Osceola High School in the regional semifinal round. The game will be played at 7 o'clock here in our gym. Would they win tonight, our Red Hot Mustangs would advance to the regional championship. So everyone, and I mean everyone, better come out to watch the team go for 20 wins in a row. In fact, Shana Phil in fact, number six, Shana Filippelli said, quote, everyone has to come to the game or I will kill them, unquote. Well, I guess I know what I'm doing tonight. What about you, Patrick? Hey, Paul, yeah. I'm with Shane. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make the game tonight. What? I'm I'm part of this rescue club for like cats. I don't know. It's weird. My mom got me into it. Um, no, you have to come. It's, uh, I won't ever talk to you again if you don't. Okay. Um, the cats can wait. I'll be here tonight. So, who are you guys playing tonight? We play Osceola. Osceola. Now, I'm pretty sure you guys played them before and beat them. Am I right? Oh yeah. All the time. Oh yeah, so what happens when you do win this game? Um, we play Saturday at 2 here for regional finals. Saturday at 2? It sounds like this place is going to be pretty packed. Everyone better come. So basically, for this on scene, I set up a nice mini volleyball net to do a couple drills, but we're going to mainly focus on a spike. So let's, let's get it. Oh, we're going to win tonight. That was, I've never seen a spike like that. I couldn't even recover. Paul, back to you. All right, guys, make sure you come out and support our volleyball team tonight at 7 o'clock. That's it for me in the sports cage. Now let's send it over to NPR News at 9 with Amber. Today in local news, Nativity Church will be having their 44th annual November 1st starting this Thursday and running through Monday. There will be carnival rides, food, and different events every day. Also, the Tampa Greek Festival begins this Friday and runs through Sunday. There will be live music, traditional Greek food, and fun for the whole family. That's all for local news today. Now let's send it over to Manoli with the weekday update. Today in the weekday update, the food drive is still going on, so please bring in perishable and, and canned food items. Cash or gift card donations are also accepted. 
Also a reminder, tomorrow will be the GSA meeting at 8 a.m. at Portable 6. Six. That's all for the weekday update. Now let's head over to News Team 6 Stormbusters with Bailey. Hey Mustangs, Bailey Schmacher here with today's weather. Today we'll have a high of 83 degrees and then a low of 68 degrees. During the day it will be sunny and possibly some clouds but also a couple of isolated showers. Tonight it will remain partly cloudy and also breezy. This weather pattern will remain the same for the rest of the week, however we have an increasing chance of rain as the week progresses. Today's weather fact is that Florida has more thunderstorms than any other state. Today's weather photo was captured by Miss Harrington. She took this picture while she was on the plane coming back from the World Series in Boston. Thank you for your photo. That's all for today's weather forecast. Now let's head over to Reoccurring Characters with Manoli. Today in Reoccurring Characters, there's a reason why you may never want to eat a banana again. A family in Britain purchased bananas from a local store. When they went home and decided to eat the banana, they saw upon further inspection that there were spiders in the bananas. The family called pest control, later finding out there was a Brazil wandering spider on the banana. The spider has enough venom to kill a mouse. In other news, in the O'Hare International Airport in Chicago, an official found a 25-inch alligator in the baggage claim by the terminals. Officials do not know how the alligator was in there. All information is still unclear. That's all for random news. Now let's check out the national news with Amber. Today in national news, when two planes holding a total of 11 people collided mid-air, it seemed as nothing short of a miracle that no deaths or injuries had to be reported. Thankfully, everyone on board were skydivers and knew how to properly prepare to jump, this being the main reason they were all able to escape free of harm. One of the pilots was even able to land his plane even though there was damage to the propellers in the wing. All the jumpers know how close they came to a potential disaster and say they were all very, very lucky. In other news, a toddler in Southern Carolina was not so lucky. The two-year-old is currently in the hospital due to having traces of meth in his system. It is possible that his Halloween candy is the cause. A few pieces of the child's candy tested positive and tests for meth, and the results are now being sent to the U.S. Department of Justice, who will conduct further tests on the possible tainted candy. Reminder, there will be a social inclusion meeting tomorrow morning. And a reminder to all students that the price for yearbooks has gone up to $80 and you can purchase them in room 517 or at yearbookforever.com. Guys, make sure you attend the boys and girls soccer games tonight. The girls will be playing at Hudson and the boys will be at home. And please go to the volleyball game tonight if you would like to do that as well. Thank you for tuning in to the Mustang News in the Morning. I'm Amber Lewis. I'm Manoli Savrakis. Have an amazing day.